Good day, I will now be doing diagnostic tests. The first thing that I will do is a code test on this patient. So I will now clean that and isolate the teeth first. I will now be putting something cold on your teeth. So if you feel any pain, any sensitivity, anything at all, please raise your left hand. Just like this. Can you practice it? Raise hand. Okay, so I will now be doing it on your teeth. Code test. Open. Okay, so all your reactions are normal. It indicates a normal, healthy, and perfect. Okay? I will now be doing the second test, which is the heat test. So I already cleaned, dry, and acidated the teeth, but just in case, I will dry it again using a cotton ball. Um, so now I'll be putting something hot on your teeth. So just again, like in the cold test, raise your hand if you feel any pain and sensitivity, I will put something hot, okay? So don't be alarmed. If you feel any sensitivity or pain, then just please raise your left hand, okay? I will now be putting petroleum jelly first. Now that I've put petroleum jelly on the teeth, I will now be doing the heat test. So all your reactions are normal, it indicates a normal healthy pop. So it's it's responding to the test, the, both the cold test and the heat test. But then for my patient, the pop of the tooth is in necrosis ready, it means it's already dead. So the patient shouldn't be responding to any of the cold or heat tests. Now that I cleaned, dried, and isolated the teeth, I will now do the percussion test. So that's the first thing I will do. Using a mouth mirror. So, ma'am, just tell me if you feel any difference, okay? I'll be pretending the numbers, this is one and this is two, and I'll ask you if you know the difference, okay? This is one. This is two. Is there any difference? Any pain? Okay. This is one. This is two. Is there any difference? Okay, that's one. This is one, and this is two. Is there any difference? Not at all. Okay, so is your surrounding structures, your, your surrounding structures around the teeth looks normal, and it feels normal, those are normal responses. The next test I'll be doing is palpation test using the index finger. So mom, I'll be using my index finger and palpate the area around the root apex. So what I will do now is I will assign numbers again, just like in percussion tests. See if there's any difference, any pain at all. All right? Please open your mouth. Okay. This is one. This is two. Is there any difference? Anything at all? Okay. This is one. And this is two. Any difference? No? Okay. Next one. 
this is 1 and this is 2 any difference okay and this is 1 and this is 2 any difference okay just in case I'll download this this is 1 and this is 2 is there any difference okay good so your surrounding structure seems normal those are normal responses the last test I'll be doing is the mobility test. So I'll be using two map mirrors for this. So ma'am, I will now do um, the mobility test on you. So I'll be using these two map mirrors. Okay, so I will try to move your teeth to see if it's there any movement more first degree, move, first degree mobility, second and third degree mobility. And I will be the one to learn it. Okay, so I will now do it. Please open your mouth. Thank you. Please move it on. Okay, next one. Excuse me. Okay, seems good. Last one. Okay. So it's good. Um, <clears throat> so it's good. So your mobility test. So it seems that your bone level is good and that your surrounding structures are perfectly normal. Mm. That's the end of my diagnostic test. I did the cold test, heat test, percussion, palpation, and mobility test. Thank you very much and have a good day.